the captivating harmonies of Lily and Madeline from their Hotel Tango Studio 92 performance a few years back. That's tired. And if you're still tired on this Wednesday morning, I have something to perk you up. At least it would perk me up if I were you. I'm pretty perked up right now because I'm living it. Lily and Madeline are here with me right now. Good morning, Lily and Madeline. Good morning. Thanks for having us. <laughs> and it was almost harmonious just now with the good morning. <laughs> oh. Um, so we're talking because you have some shows coming up, including an indie show at the Hi-Fi with Jess Williamson next Tuesday night? Yeah, yeah, May 30th at the Hi-Fi. We're so excited. Okay, I'm excited for that too. And then um, your own show in Bloomington on Thursday, right? Yes, it's at the Orbit Room. Orbit Room. Okay, so two Indiana shows almost in a row. You got the Tuesday night, May 30th, Orbit Room in Bloomington on uh, Thursday, June 1st. Uh, can I tell you what I did on Saturday night? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So my wife and I, uh, we have a we have a soon to be six year old. We're planning a birthday party. We needed to make a bunch of decorations. So we got the kids to bed, and uh, we went downstairs. And we had all this work to do. And she's like, "Let's put on some music." And I was like, "Oh, I've got Lily and Madeline coming in next week. Let's listen to some Lily and Madeline." She hadn't heard a ton of your work. Um, I'm a fan, so I put on um, what I put on Canterbury Girls, and because because that's got analog love on it. And yeah. I was like, "Oh, that's such a good song," and. Um, she starts hearing it. She's like, oh, I really like this. And then Analog Love comes on and I shoot her a look and she shoots me a look and I'm like, good, got her. Awesome. Aww. And so then I was like, uh, the album wrapped up and I was like, should we keep it going? She's like, yeah, I want to hear more. Uh, put on Keep It Together and then I put on Fumes. And then before we knew it, we'd listen to all four albums oh my God. on Saturday night. It was so wonderful. That's so, that's so, so sweet. sweet. We were the soundtrack. <laughs> Thank you. You were the soundtrack to a very, very productive evening of putting together oh. Mario decorations. <laughs> Aw, sweet. So thank you for that. Um, and I love the new version of Come To Me. You were also talking because you just put that out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you describe what's different about, I mean, this is a song, this is a, this is a 10, 12 year old song now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, every piece of the new version is re-recorded. So nothing is like, it's not a remix, it's a re-recording. Um, right. And I mean, me personally, I don't have a lot of emotional attachment to the song because I mean, it is like 12 years old. Yeah. But we just wanted to like re-engage with our fans since we've been gone, you know, because of the pandemic and all that for the past like four years. So we just thought it'd be like an easy way to reintroduce ourselves and get some momentum going before we actually start putting out new music because we will be doing that pretty soon. Ooh, you will. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What can we say about that? Can we say anything? Just like yeah. something is coming, something will happen this year? We're hoping to put out two singles this summer or at least one because the new record, we've been working on it for years. It's just taken so long to come out, but it's going to come out this fall. We don't have a set release date yet, but we just finished the cover and the music itself has been done for like a year at this point. Two yeah, years? yeah, it's been mastered at yeah. least over oh my a year. Gosh. But I do want to just say that the new version of Come To Me, that production style is very similar to this new music okay. we're putting out later this year. So if you like the new Come To Me, um, I'm excited for people to hear the new music. If you haven't heard the new Come To Me, you've got to listen to it. And with that in mind, I very much look forward to what's coming. Thank you. Lily we us too. Oh, <laughs> Lily and Madeline, uh, again, a show in Indy on Tuesday with Jess Williamson, Tuesday the 30th, uh, and then a show in Bloomington on June 1st, that uh, next Thursday at the Orbit Room. Thank you again so much, Lillian yeah, Madeline. thank you. Thank you.